May we invite you to enjoy driving together with your Becca Car Radio. Becca Auto Radio has prepared this recording to help you identify noise problems whilst the vehicle is moving. Noise caused by the natural behavior of radio signals in the FM band is often the reason for unsuccessful repair attempts. Result? Frustration and wasted time. Now we have a noise such as this. When this noise is heard while the vehicle is moving, or exclusively on certain stations in certain areas, then there is a strong probability that local reception conditions are responsible and nothing can be done. Radio interference can be caused by many different atmospheric and environmental conditions, and yet the noises you hear may all sound alike. FM and FM stereo signals, due to their high frequency, behave much the same as light waves do. They travel in straight lines and can be blocked by hills and buildings. Since they travel only in straight lines and do not follow the curve of the earth as AM signals do, FM and FM stereo signals are usually limited to a range of only 20 to 30 miles. So, to maintain good FM or FM stereo reception, you must retune your radio to local stations as you travel. Let us now listen to some of the different sounds of interference and talk about their causes. When you hear the following sound, it means a natural or man-made obstruction is blocking the signal path from the radio station to the automobile aerial. This interference is mostly associated with fringe reception areas. In such instances, it is important to have the aerial fully extended. Please ensure that, in the case of mechanical aerials, the lowest telescope is fully extended until it reaches the stop. This is especially true of FM stereo reception, which requires a ten times stronger signal than regular FM. Please bear in mind that the obstruction causing the signal loss may not necessarily be in view or even in the immediate vicinity. Listen now to a flutter sound which will vary with the speed of the car. Should the signal arrive at the aerial by way of a number of different reflected paths, for example, if you are driving in town or through hilly countryside, the flutter effect could be made worse because of the resulting distortion rather than the short time loss of the signal. Here is another typical sound. Close to transmitters you may experience an effect known as capture or station swapping and it sounds like this. A control circuit in your car radio, however, largely eliminates this effect. Station swapping is caused when the signal you are listening to is temporarily blocked and your radio automatically tunes to a strong adjacent station on the dial. If, a few yards further on, the original station regains some power or the interfering one loses some, the radio jumps back to its original station. Sometimes inaccurate tuning is the cause of station swapping, so fine tuning to the desired station eliminates the problem. Under extremely strong signal conditions close to transmitters, or in line of sight of powerful stations, the radio may be overloaded, and the result is station changing, mixing, or distortion of the signal. The control circuit in your car radio also largely eliminates these distortion signals. With the sensitivity switch of car radios having an automatic station finder, you can influence the input sensitivity of these radios during the automatic station selection. The radio automatically self-selects either powerful, semi-powerful, 
or all wheat stations too. In the operation instructions of your radio, the manipulation of the sensitivity switch is explained. Now a few words about care and maintenance of your cassette unit. Use only branded cassettes C60 and C90, which may be chrome dioxide or furrow chrome tape. The greatest enemies of a cassette are dust and heat. Never leave cassettes lying about loose or exposed to direct sunlight, for example on the dashboard or rear shelf. You will thus avoid warping of the cassette and jamming of the tape. With the vibrations of the car, the tape spool of cassettes can become loose. It is advisable, therefore, to store the cassettes in commercially available cassette boxes to prevent this. Should a tape loop develop, or the cassette become jammed, the electronic tape end stop fitted to the unit avoids further damage by automatically ejecting the cassette. Remove the cassette and, using a ballpoint pen, turn one of the spools until the loop has been rewound. You should then be able to fast wind and rewind the tape. As the reproduction quality of cassettes gradually diminishes, you should clean the head from time to time. Dust deposits on the head are unavoidable. The result is dull reproduction and a difference in volume between radio and cassette reproduction. For cleaning, we recommend a cleaning set. Before use, please observe the printed instructions. Now some hints at the end of this cassette. Better stereo reception can be obtained by installing additional rear speakers. These can be adjusted via a fader control to balance the sound from front to rear. Now a few words about your car aerial. In most cases, a rod aerial is used. Please ensure that the lowest telescope is always fully extended, otherwise the incoming signal can be considerably reduced. The aerial is an important part of your receiving system. From time to time you should clean it with the small cloth included in the cleaning set. Becker car radios are designed to eliminate or at least minimize any undesirable effects of driving in difficult reception areas. However, sometimes noise-free reception cannot be obtained and tuning to another radio station or turning the tone control to its base position may be necessary. Replacing the radio, the aerial or the loudspeaker simply will not help. We are sure that the instructive hints given on this cassette will assist you in obtaining good radio reception and good cassette reproduction. Should you have any further questions, please contact one of the service stations of our Central Service Department Direct. The addresses are listed in the leaflet and closed with the warranty certificate. We wish you pleasant driving and good reception. Nous sommes heureux de faire ce voyage.